How are you guys doing? Kyle Gray back with um, another console that was bought. This is a Slim Trinity for Jason Washburn. Let's go ahead and just do XL real quick. He wanted blue and red LEDs, so I did alternating blue and red in, um, I'm sorry, blue center, red outside, inside on the top is blue and red. That's what I was looking for the entire time. Alright, as you can see, XL just came up. That one actually took a while. Usually it's close to instant to about 15 seconds. That one took like 40 seconds. It's not a usual thing. I don't know why it did that long. But uh, as you can see, XL came up. Let's go ahead and do the dashboard now. As you can see right there, that was close to about an instant boot. It's just it takes a little bit longer, about four or five seconds, for the boot animation to come up. And as per usual, hit A, and it'll go past it. There you got the GTA purge. Alright, go ahead and show you that it's on the new dashboard. As you can see right there, 17489. That's the newest one that's out. I heard there's going to be a new one soon because of all the issues that's with this new one. But, I cannot confirm nor deny if it's going to happen or not because I don't know. Alright, let's go ahead and show what's on this flash drive. In the content folder, we have the usual code 9999, F3000. This is all for uh, XCX Menu 1.2 and FSD. You have the fake anime. That's how that boot up screen came up in the beginning. There's tons in here you can choose from. All you have to do is copy and paste it into this folder and delete this one that's in there. Uh, mod menus, as usual, we got the Black Ops 2. All you have to do is copy and paste what's in here over to your... Uh, copy of Black Ops 2 in your hard drive and then choose any of these mod venues now there's tons in here it goes on forever now what's on here already when you copy and paste it is Elegance V4 which everyone always loves and wants you have to purge 2.7 crack I haven't heard them have a crack version of 2.8 an actual legit version is on 2.9 and is $60 uh, then you have Exynum, which is for Modern Warfare 3. We have the online setup here, which has the all the new online files that are needed. You don't need these Xenons. I don't know why it keeps going over, even though I deleted them all. Xenon is no longer usable because of the new dashboard. So you can use Infernus, or you can use, where is it? Oh, I'm sorry, it's not, it's over in here. Yeah, delete Xenon again, don't need that. You can use Infernus, or you can use the new Edge Offline.xx. I have the new Edge on there for you. Alright, you have a uh, simple NAND flasher. This will uh, allow you to flash an NAND if there's a new update. This will also tell you your CPU key, and this will also tell you your, uh, dash version and your current dash loss version as you can see the only thing that comes up X is for you to dump your NAND which I'll do right now so you have the NAND on the console for you go ahead and hit X takes roughly about uh, I think it's like 13 seconds it says you'll see it right now it'll say it
All right, that one took 36 seconds. This is a little long. Usually it takes about um 20 seconds at most. But then you have your nan on there. That's it. That's just about it for the console. If you have any questions, uh, Jason, go ahead and just PM me as usual, and I'll help you out with whatever you need. Have a good day, everyone.